just loading up the machine to go trout fishing today and I can see the brake light looks like it's on on the snow machine and I just turned everything off locked the brake shut it down what's going on maybe that's maybe maybe I'm having some kind of electrical issue and it's draining the battery I'm gonna go check that out that could explain why the machine was having problems starting before and seemed like the battery wasn't charging um, or is it just a reflection of sun on that backlight? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Well, you would swear that brake light was on from back there, but it's not. It's just a reflection of sunlight. Okay, false alarm. Good thing because the kill switch is down and the key is off. So, so all packed up this morning, ready to go do some trout fishing on the back lakes. Probably about minus 15 last night. So, supposed to go up to zero today. Should be great to be out on the lake. I don't even think we'll need a fire, but uh, we're gonna go about an hour's drive by sled and uh, hit a little trout lake that I usually do every spring. It's where my grandfather used to take us when we were kids, so it's kind of an homage trip to him every year, and uh, we'll see how we do today. <sighs> Gotta get her loaded up, I guess. Just got a few toys. Welcome to Cody's place. Cody won't admit it, but when he was a kid, I taught him how to fish. I can't take credit for the hunting. He did that all on his own. You can probably guess by all the mounts that uh, Cody's not married. <laughs> but he has one hell of a nice living room. <laughs> And a good bird dog too, eh, Teal? Hey, girl. You need to go for a run. You're getting fat. Oh, you lazy dog laying in the sun. I should have brought Gage out to play with you. You guys would have had fun. Snow's just a little deep off the trail here, right up to my waist. Just wanted to take a picture of that log over there. It looked pretty cool with the mushrooms and the snow on it. Well, it is a trout. Beautiful little guys. First one. Number two. Got to go down the hole, buddy. There he goes. Just wait. He'll be up here. We'll have to chase him ready before here we comes that fisher, guys. He's coming right down the shore, heading right for us. Make sure you got no food sitting in on this too. He'll be right into it. Here he's right. I can't believe this. Here he comes. I'm going to grab the other camera so we can zoom in on him. So it's pretty cool. We've actually got a fisher coming down the shoreline here. He must be out here on the ice, scrounging minnows and leftover scraps, whatever people are leaving uh, 
maybe some fish guts and whatever. And he's actually not shy. He's coming right down the shoreline towards us. We'll see how close he gets. I got a bunch of chubs that I've caught here and I'll uh, throw them to him if he comes in close enough. I didn't teach him how to use that. He figured that out on his own. Everybody's got these flashers now. I think I'm too old school. I just had a good laugh. I told Cody, I said, there goes your first line. And he says, oh, it doesn't look too promising. So I came over, thought I was going to catch a little chub. And I actually caught a not bad trout. Keeper, anyway. It's a start for dinner. Eh, probably 11 inches. Mid-afternoon, fishing has been no good. So we're going to pack up and uh, head down the lake. Try another spot further down. Got a couple hours of light left, so you never know. Hey, five minutes at the new spot. We got another keeper. Good enough to go in the pan anyway. Nine incher. Well, he's off over there adventuring. His line here was going down again. See if I can get another one. Well, one more lake to cross before I get home. And there were some open holes out there earlier today, so Cody's gone ahead of me. Had to leave early, so I'm going to just stay over to the left and hopefully avoid those open spots. But if nobody hears from me, that's what happened to me. There it is guys, four nice brook trout to cook up for dinner tonight. It's snowing outside, so it'll be a great night to just fire up the grill and uh, warm up. It's been a cold, long day, but a fun day. Had a blast fishing with Cody. Uh, he told me a couple scary bush stories. I couldn't get him to uh, talk about it on the channel, but hey, I'll bribe him. I know a few good fishing spots he doesn't know about. We'll have him back on the channel. He's uh, quite a bow hunter, Cody is, and he spends a lot of time in the bush. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go cook these up and enjoy some fresh trout. Fresh trout, onion, and a bit of bacon. Just like Grandma used to do.